Hi everyone, my name is Gus Posey. I'm the STEAM lead here at Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum. Today I'm going to teach you a fun paper airplane called the Cobra, also pronounced the Cobra. And as you're going through these folds, I hope you have a good time with that. But I also want to stress, this is a plane that will really benefit from a nice symmetrical fold. So as much as we can keep that the same on one side as the other, the better this will fly. At the end, I'll also teach you the secret launch technique for the Cobra, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with that as well. As I often do, I'm going to start with the 8.5 by 11 sheet here with my logo in the bottom right corner facing downwards towards me. That'll put it on the wing when we're done folding. Now the first fold here is going to be important because I do want this to be symmetrical, so I'm folding this across as we so often do, the hot dog bun fold, just matching the corners carefully at the bottom and the top to make sure they're actually the same. Perfection is elusive, uh, but we do want to see if we can get as close as possible for the Cobra folds. Now when I open this up, we have a reference line here in the middle that will serve us well, as it so often does. I take the top edge and the corner and just fold it right onto that center line. It's important that I don't leave any space at the top. I want to make sure these triangles are the same on both sides. So one fold there, and as this one comes across here, it's coming right down to that same edge, just like that. So again, kind of a traditional fold, that basic house shape to get us started. Now at the top of the triangle, we are gonna fold this down, but not very far, just to the intersection of our center line and the bottom of our folded triangles. So just coming down here just a little bit to match that edge. Now, if you've done some origami or some other folding, you may know what's coming here, but we need to reverse this to make it work a little bit better. So right here at the top of the program, we have kind of a tricky step. I'm going to open up my triangle here. I'm going to open up my triangle here and here just to see my lines, and hopefully you can see on your video here, my triangle is still there in my creases right there at the top of the page. Now here's what that's gonna look like. I need to fold this back down here so the point of the triangle is touching the center line, and now I'm going to reverse these folds. So using my fingernail, I'm just giving it a little bit of a scratch here, a little bit of a scratch here, and that allows me to do this. The line is now pretty flat against the paper, so I can go from the center to the next corner and fold the next corner right to the top of the page. Now half the triangle's on the bottom. From the center to the next corner, I can fold that to the top of the page as well. And now the triangle, which was on the top, is on the bottom, giving us a shape like this. Once again, grabbing a marker, just giving me a little extra chance to flatten these out. A nice sharp crease is always helpful. Now with a shape like this, we're gonna go right to the top of the fold here and fold it straight down looks a little bit like an envelope, something kind of like that. Make sure I have a nice flat edge across that top surface going right out to the corners. Now, if you have a shape like this, you're in good shape for the next fold. The corner here folds from the edge out to that same intersection. So where the center line just goes right to the edge of that folded shape. I do wanna make sure this is nice and flat. So again, a flattening tool of some kind is a great idea. And of course, I'll do that on one side and the other one's just a match. We put those corners together on the center line, makes the same space at the top, and a very uh, symmetrical pair of wings. As I did before, I'm just gonna give this a little extra crease here, a little extra crease here, and believe it or not, we're almost done. Now with these in place, we have the beginnings of our wings, but once again, I'm gonna do a little bit of a reverse fold on this just to make it work a little bit better. Specifically, I need to unfold my wing here and unfold the wing here. I'm going to unfold this trapezoid shape, but not all the way, maybe about halfway. It looks kind of like a bed. I've got a flat part here and a vertical part here. Now the reason I'm doing the vertical part here, not all the way folded, is because I need it to be able to reach far enough. So if it's upright a little bit, it has enough space to reach. Let me show you what I mean. Coming into these folds, hopefully you can see I have a number of creases inside, and the important crease here is this one and this one. What I need to do is take my fingernail to the other side and give it a little bit of a scratch. And I just want to reverse that same crease just like I did before. So coming up here to the corner, that's going to fold right to that center line. Again, it's not going to work if this is all the way flat because it just won't quite be able to reach. So we'll need to make sure that's upright. The line is reversed and the corner folds right into that center line. Obviously, I'll do that on one side, a little bit of a scratch over here and then I can bring this corner in to match. Now, believe it or not, this is called the Cobra because of this step. That's supposed to be the hood of a striking Cobra. I think it looks kind of like a shirt, but hopefully you get the idea. 
Now if those corners are together, I can bring this down and start to match that with the edge of the wing here and the edge of the wing here. The shape should compress to the same shape that it has underneath. Those should match here and here just exactly. Another great opportunity for my marker just to slide that out to the edge on both sides. Now, if you have a shape like this, you're almost done. Once again, we just want to fine tune a little bit, make sure everything matches the edge of the paper, and then we'll fold it all in half going this way, leaving our folded edges on the outside. This is a chance to match those corners, and as I have mentioned so many times, a little extra symmetry never hurts, so just making sure those line up and are pretty close to the same is really gonna help us when we fly. Now for the last step, we're going to make the wings. And as you saw in the initial design, like our Nakamura, for example, we're going to use that same principle. Take the leading edge of the wing, this long line, not the little short line, the long line here, and just pinching it, rolling it, bringing this edge, all the way across so that it's parallel with the bottom of the plane. That again builds in an angle on the wing, the flex air downwards like angle of attack, but it's built into the plane so we can refer to that as an angle of incidence, just like you saw before. Now once that's folded, I'll flip it over, fold the other wing to match, just making sure that I'm following this bottom line once again, and also that the back edge here on my two triangles, they match as well, just for the wings. Now, in all of these discussions, I've mentioned the word dihedral, so hopefully you remember that term. And as I bring these wings back up, I'm going to add just a little bit of dihedral, that Y shape that helps really give a little stability to our airplane as well. Now, this is a great airplane for a lot of reasons. It's a classic design and it flies great, but it also benefits from a secret launch technique. So once we get out in the hangar, I'll show you a little bit more about that. Okay, everyone, hopefully you've had a chance to fold your Cobra. Now it's time for some test flights. I just wanna show you a couple things that I think will make that flight work a little bit better, just in the tips department. Number one, we do have a little bit of that dihedral on that wing, so the wings are pointing up just a little bit like the letter Y. And also, you can definitely give this a nice straight throw, but I do wanna show you an additional technique for launching the plane. If I turn it upside down, so it's pointing at me and the back is pointing away, upside down and backwards, my index fingers just go right along the crease here and right along the crease here. Now I can bring this back just like this, and in slow motion, it might look a little bit like this, just bringing my fingertips to opposition, just like that. And in fact, let me show you a couple throws just to give you an example. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Join me again for more tutorials.